What's up guys, how you doing? Uh, so, uh, something I wanted to talk about is um, <clears throat> four types of groups of people to look out for. As a veteran, four types of people to look out for as a veteran. Um, one, companies. Companies tend to get benefit from the government when they hire veterans. Um, and these benefits, you know, could be write-offs, um, whatever it is, incentives that they're getting from the government. A lot of companies tend to do good, tend to do the right thing by veterans. Um, and veterans get hired, you know, for positions that they so rightfully deserve. Uh, but there are other companies out there that will hire veterans just to hire a veteran um, to, you know, take advantage of these uh, benefits. And um, the, you know, the veteran might be miserable at his job. It might not be something that he had applied for. You know, they probably promised him, you know, you start from the bottom, you, you know, you'll get, you know, to a position that you might deserve. But that promise will never get, you know, will never be fulfilled. So <clears throat> be careful with whom you decide, you know, to work for. Because um, there are companies out there just because you're a veteran that will just want to hire you just for incentives from the government. Um, number two, lawyers. Lawyers, uh, they... A win is a win for them. What I mean by a win is a win. So whether you get 10% or 100%, when you file a claim, a win is a win. So you might be going for an E condition, and um, that E condition requires uh, three ratings. Three ratings might add up to 60%, 70%. You know, you might deserve to get, you know, the full, uh, uh, full ratings in regards to that condition. Um, but because a lawyer might not know how to go, the process to go about this in regards to getting these three ratings, um, you might get fucked. They might give you a blanketed rating and you might just get 10%. What I mean by blanketed rating is that um, TBI, TBI covers uh, depression and PTSD and uh, illness I'm not quite sure of, but... TBI blankets uh, certain illnesses such as PTSD and PTSD is one of those that can reach up to 100% if you deserve it. Now, if TBI, you're only given 30% for TBI, you know, you might get fucked because now that TBI is covering PTSD. So that's what I mean by blanketed ratings. Um, so again, a lawyer, for a lawyer, a win is a win no matter what, you know, if they get 10%, you know, just make sure you know that the lawyer that you're, you're with, um, who you're a client to, they know what they're doing when they're filing for these claims. All right. Um, third person to look out for organizations, third type of person, organizations, or there are certain organizations out there that are awesome. Um, such as Hooks for Heroes um, and Late Night Justice. Hooks for Heroes, they get grants, and uh, what they do with those grants is they send out veterans and first responders to, you know, go for, you know, go out fishing. You know, rent boats and send them out, you know, to go fishing. Um, normally, they'll do it, you know, uh, somewhere closer to the veteran, um, or they will try to accommodate that veteran. But it's a great organization. Another one is uh, Late Night Justice. Late Night Justice, I do not believe they receive grants, but they do get donations. And with these donations, what they do is they'll send veterans out to sports events, you know, or any other type of event that they able to do, such as Broadway, you know, watch a Broadway show, give them Broadway tickets, however it is, um, you know, or send them away on a trip. But that's what they do with these donations. You know, these are great organizations. There are organizations out there that will get these grants and they will pocket the majority of the money and probably give you a half, uh, half off expenses paid, you know, trip um, to Cancun or something. You might have to call for the other half. <laughs> Again, look out for these organizations. Try not to get suckered by them. And last but not least, which is very disappointing, is veterans taking advantage of other veterans, charging them to show them how to file a claim, you know, how, what it is that they need to do um, in order to, you know, to get the rating that they deserve. Um, 
the ins and out. You shouldn't be able to charge for any of this free information. It's on the website. Um, and there's other Barney, broken down Barney style uh, websites that breaks down uh, VA lingo. Um, so, you know, that I have put up like military disability made easy dot com. Um, it's a website that I came across, you know, and it helps veterans out understand what the VA is talking about, you know, what you deserve, you know, um, it's like a WebMD. Um, and if you don't have it, you sometimes the majority of these, uh, illnesses you can't fake. <laughs> so, you know, veterans are out there charging, uh, other veterans a 6%. Telling them, oh, you would have not gotten this rating anyway, you know, this money anyways, uh, because you don't know how to file a claim or you would have not been able to reach it yourself. Um, and that is not true. All you need to do is a little bit of legwork, you know. Um, you know, I'm not saying that I know about every illness. There might not be videos that I've made in regards to what, you know, you should be service connected for. But... Look out for veterans that are willing, that want to charge other veterans for service connections, you know, that they might deserve. And, uh, you know, I think it's unfair, you know. Um, I, I came across it and it was just, it was disgusting to me. I, I just thought that, wow, you know, um, it sucks. It is what it is at the end of the day. But it's just an advice what I'm, you know, what I wanted to say today. So look out for these people, you know, look out for these groups of people. Stay away from them, all right? Take care, guys. Have a good one. And uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel, all right? Hit the alert button. Take care. Bye-bye.